Beehives dot the landscape everywhere in this valley, on farmland, among the sandstone cliffs and along the plains. Yemen is famous for its honey, and beekeeping methods here haven't changed for centuries. Smoke is used to subdue the bees in their apiaries made from hollowed wood, earthenware or cane baskets. Honey in Yemen is very pure. The best quality is, of course, the one produced from jujube trees when their flowers blossom. We don't use chemicals. That is why we produce rare, pure honey. Jujube trees that thrive in Yemen's desert conditions are a favorite source of nectar for pollinating bees. During the winter months, the nomadic beekeepers move the hives to Wadi Dawan, where there is an abundance of jujube. The honey extracted is seen as a precious delicacy, and over the years, it has been presented as gifts to rulers and dignitaries. It is also used as a symbol of peace, presented after the creation of pacts between rival tribes. Beekeepers enjoy telling people that the reason why honey in Yemen is very expensive is its nutritional and therapeutic qualities. But this isn't the only reason. In this shop in the capital Sana'a, honey mixed with plant extracts and lizard powder is sold as an aphrodisiac, reflecting its ancient use in traditional Arab medicine. People come here to buy love potions made of honey mixed with other things. The mixture we sell is the number one wished-for product during the summer. Grooms throng this shop to buy the love potion. But what was once a booming business suffered a downturn after 9-11, when the Bush administration listed Yemeni honey stores as possible fronts for Al-Qaeda, something dismissed by those working in the industry. Honey is a source of revenue for many families here in Yemen. Wherever you go, you will see beekeepers whose only source of income is honey. We export it to Saudi Arabia through official means. There is absolutely nothing dodgy about the honey industry in our country. The traditional markets, though, continue to flourish, with honey traders eager to show off their finest products. The viscous liquid is poured out to demonstrate the purity of its quality. During periods of drought, the bee's diet is often supplemented with syrup and sugar to maintain production levels. For these honey connoisseurs, though, all it takes is a tasting spoon and a look at the color to decide whether or not this sweet nectar is worth buying. Hashim al-Barra, al-Jazeera. وادي دوعان حضرموت يمن